How's it going? This is TJ again. Uh, it's my uh, pickups from uh, you know this past week, and uh, and I will show uh, reveal the, the Game Boy game. Uh, there is a winner. Uh, you know, thank you very much for all of the the guesses and uh, the participation. It was great, uh, great turnout. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, now I uh, just have a few pickups from this week. Uh, I was kind of at the end of my uh, video game budget, uh, but still some good things nonetheless. So we'll get started here. Uh, to start off with, uh, I still had some uh, store credit there. One of the game stores. Uh, I had seven dollars and some change, and uh, and I was you know, a little worried that I wasn't going to find anything for seven dollars. But I so instead I picked up a couple uh, five screw uh, Nintendo games. I didn't have them. Pinball, and you can see uh, the five screws and slalom. Again, just another five screw. Uh, these were two ninety nine each, and so I had just you know a, a buck or five or something like that left over and. Uh, I was thinking, all right, you know, what is the worst game I can pick up for, uh, you know, for a dollar? I was like, you know, Shaq Fu, you know, something like that. So I find Shaq Fu. It was six bucks there, uh, you know, and I was like, well, who paid six dollars for this? Uh, so instead, I walked away with uh, WCW versus NWO uh, World Tour for the Nintendo 64. I didn't have it, and uh, and actually, I, I figured that was probably uh, you know the, the least uh, of the games I could do. So uh, not too bad, I guess. Uh, next is uh, from the flea market and uh, this kind of has a little story uh, so I, I only went to the flea market with $14 uh, that's all I had to spend there and uh, and so I was you know turning offers down left and right uh, I saw a few games that I did want like uh, Paperboy 2 for the Super Nintendo tur uh, NBA Jam uh, they, you know people wanted five six bucks for those and you know and I, I said no but I uh, finally came across somebody with uh, Super Mario World 2 and uh, they had it for seven and uh, I offered five uh, they said seven and I offered six and uh, you know they sold it to me for six so I was like all right so I had eight dollars left well I find a stand they had Mega Man X and he was asking ten dollars for it and uh, I, I offered eight and uh, you know he, he told me no that ten was the lowest he could go and I I, uh, I, I pulled out my wallet, you know, look, I physically had $8, and uh, he wouldn't sell it to me. So uh, so the moral of the story is to uh, bring more cash uh, to the flea market. But I still got, uh, like I said, uh, Super Mario World 2, which I didn't have yet. Uh, you can see the little rip going across the top, but, uh, you know, not a big deal. Uh, it plays, and uh, it's a good thing to have. I mean, I think this is a $20, $25 game, so for 6 bucks, I can't complain at all. But uh, on to that, I... Uh, <clears throat> All right, one of the thrift stores here in town called Epic was uh, everything 50% off. And uh, so I went over there, and uh, this was really the first time that I spent a long time in the store. Uh, with everything 50% off, I really wanted to make sure I looked at everything. And so I probably spent, I don't know, 45 minutes there to an hour. And the only thing I could find in there was two manuals, or not manuals, two um, strategy guides, Kingdom Hearts 1, and a uh, Pokédex. Uh, I mean, they were great finds. They were both marked for three dollars each, uh, so 50% off. They were a dollar fifty. So I mean, still a great find. But I could not find a single game I wanted. They had a few like PlayStation 2, uh, you know, Madden and stuff like that, and they had been marked up to like nine fifty or nine ninety nine, something like that. So I don't know if they marked them up just for their 50% sale, or they just normally have the games priced at that. So, uh, but that was the only thing I found were those two manuals. Uh, so, I uh, I don't know if I'll keep them. Uh, if anyone's interested in them, uh, including the Pokédex, you know, please let me know. But uh, so, at the pawn store on my way to work, I uh, I came across this. Uh, it might be hard to tell, but it is Rugrats: The Search for a Reptar. And uh, I, I forget whose video I was watching, but somebody mentioned that one of the Rugrats games for the PlayStation 1 w was pretty rare. And uh, and I, I saw it there in the thing. It's, you can see it's missing the, the front cover. And I, uh, you know, I was like, oh, I don't really want that. And so I, I got home from work. I looked it up, and sure enough, it was a search for Reptar, which is, it said, like, uh, I think rarityguide.com had it at 68% uh, rare, so pretty pretty uncommon. So I raced back over to it. Um, and, uh, and it's the, the greatest hits, but they had it marked at uh, 50 cents, if you can see that. Uh, you can see the jewel case is cracked right down the middle there, but I can probably replace the lid. Uh, so for 50 cents, 
Uh, I now have a Rugrats game. Uh, like even the, the Greatest Hits edition, uh, RarityGuide.com has it at like 63%, so still uh, fairly uncommon. So <laughs> 50 cents, you know, I, I probably would have paid 50 cents for any game, but so just kind of goofy to have Rugrats. Um, so uh, today, uh, for the first time in, I don't know, five, six years, my wife and I decided to go to Blockbuster, uh, you know, to rent some movies. We were tired of Netflix and uh, looking for something new. So I'm looking for their, through their games and, uh, you know, to see what they rent out, stuff like that. And I came across some of their used games that they had up for sale uh, and saw Pokemon White for the, the DS. And they had it marked as $17.99. But all of their video games uh, were 50% off. So for $9, uh, I got a Pokemon White. It's uh, missing the manual, but still $9 really for any Pokemon game is a great uh, price. Uh, but especially uh, the ones for the DS, I think they're still at uh, $30, $35 like at GameStop just for the, the little game. So uh, great price at $9. Uh, but so the moment everyone's been waiting for, uh, the Game Boy uh, game revealing. Uh, I want to say, uh, again, thank you for, uh, for all the participation. Uh, there were probably, I think, 40, 50 guesses, something like that. Maybe not that much, but still, just, just great. Uh, you know, I was really excited about it. Uh, so I was glad to see uh, even everyone else was, too. Uh, I do want to say there is a winner. Um, so I've got uh, the game in here. So let's, uh, let's take a look. That's right. The game is Final Fantasy Legend 2. Uh, nobody specifically said Final Fantasy Legend 2, but uh, BLM 9999999999, that's right, uh, BLM 99s, uh, he guessed Final Fantasy Legend, so he will be the winner of, uh, of my contest here. Uh, so everyone can uh, give him a round of applause. Um, I want to say I changed the save battery for him, so it's a brand new battery. Uh, I, you know, and I checked it myself, so a little... Uh, first safe game and there is mine just checking the battery so I will send this out to you as soon as I uh, make contact with you and uh, get your address and stuff but thank you everyone again uh, you know for watching and for participating I actually have a, uh, a special uh, request uh, to go out to you guys uh, I'm really looking for uh, a Game Boy game I believe it's just called Star Wars um, if anyone's played it you just run around you have, I think you're in you start out in the Death Star uh, you have to find a lightsaber uh, blah 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 I remember being hard and not really having the patience for it uh, you know, when I was younger, but I'd really like to find it, and uh, especially now that I have a Super Game Boy, uh, and I'd like to play it again. So if anyone has that and uh, is willing to trade that to me, uh, please, uh, you know, leave a comment or uh, private message me. I'd like to know. But uh, you know, thanks again for watching, and uh, you know, I'll uh, see you next week. Thank you.